Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Today I have a very small craft haul um, that I wanted to have a look at with you. So I have been picking up quite a few stamps and my main way of colouring, in fact the only way really I have at the minute of colouring any of those stamped images is to use my marker pens. Now I absolutely love them. I've got a few different ones. I've got some kind of unbranded ones that I picked up from eBay and then I have some of the Spectrum Noir pens and I do really like using them but sometimes I want something not quite so saturated in colour. Sometimes I want to be able to blend the colours a little bit easier. I want something that maybe I can get into more of the finer details so I was having a look at other options I have for colouring in my images and I was torn between pencil crayons and watercolour pencils. So I went on to Amazon because I had no idea what I was really looking at and started to look at different options and this to this tin of 72 watercolour pencils came up on my search they've got really good reviews um they're by a company called xenocolor xenocolor i have no idea what these are like but they did have i think it was 4.8 out of five stars and there were some really good reviews on there about how easy they were to use so i thought i'd give them a go now, I paid just £14.99 pence for them. You get, as I say, the 72 watercolour pencils. They're in this really nice tin, so I can keep them nice and handy. Inside, we have the colour chart on the inside of the lid, alongside all of the names. We have a... Um, try your pencils right away coloured image for you to have a go at there's also a do-it-yourself colour chart which I thought we'd have a go at doing today as quickly as I can and then we have three trays of colours now they were mixed up a little bit when they came so I have sat down and put them all in number order so that they now match the colour chart and I believe that also matches that colour chart over there. You do get a little paintbrush which I will take out to use. So it's just a really nice little paintbrush. And then as I say we have the three trays of colours. So this is the first tray. This one is the second tray. So there seems to be a really good range of colours here. And then this is the third tray in the bottom. I think they look pretty good, but as I say, I thought we would give them a go. And I'm just going to use this colour chart that they've sent me. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to colour in all of the circles and then I'll go down and pop some water on each of them. I'm going to try and do it as quickly as I can. I'm going to work backwards so that I can put my trays back on top of each other. It actually feels really nice, actually. It does feel quite smooth. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on there, but we are getting a nice amount of colour. Can see differences not a huge amount of difference but that's going to be perfect for when we're doing the blending they look really nice if anyone has any other recommendations for um, watercolor pencils or just normal pencils as well because I do want to get a few different color mediums in for my stamping and I've also got the um colour sheets that I've picked up from like Creative Crafting World as well. 
so any recommendations would be great they're going on really really nicely i'll just pick this up i haven't done many but i've done a few look at how nice they are I can see we've definitely been able to use these. Some really nice colours. So we had black, grey, dark grey, dim grey, light grey, metallic silver, metallic gold, purple, violet, indigo, mineral blue. And then we have brown. We have coffee, this one is khaki, moss green, sapphire blue, Cerulean blue, dark blue, Prussian blue. We have just blue, royal blue, aqua blue, light blue. And sky blue so that is the first tray of colors I think they're really nice so we'll put these ones over and we'll work our way again I'm working backwards I'll go up so we've then got dark green Green, forest green, oh that one's broke on me look, that is the first one to break and it could be down to the um, in their transit when they've come that's the first one i've got that's broken on me so we'll keep going slate green sea green fresh green Then we have burgundy, we've got copper, chocolate, Next one is bronze. This one was already broken when the box arrived. It still colours nicely. We've got camel. Not sure about some of these colour names. Sienna.
umba maroon cherry dark gold gold these ones aren't the metallic ones so these ones down here are the ones with the metallic in them uh, golden rod dark magenta Carmine Strong Red Coral and Mauve So that is the next tray of colours. And then let's bring in the top tray. Move this over there a little bit. I can bring my colouring sheet in for you. So we have red. Salmon, orange red, tropical orange, orange. Tangerine Light orange This one appears to be broken as well, I hadn't noticed that Just ever so slightly chipped This one is Marigold Sand orange Apricot Pearl Pink Pink Baby Pink We have white, which won't show up on here, to be fair. We've got moon yellow. Oops. Amber yellow. Champagne yellow, just yellow. We have apple green, grass green. Foliage green, emerald, green, 
and last but not least malachite and so that is the final tray of colours I think that they look really really good I'm going to wet my brush a little bit and I just want to see how these go once auto activated So I'm just popping a little bit of water on, just have a wispy brush, there we go. Just cut it using like half the circle, so you can still see half that's been coloured and half that has the water on. We'll put some water on the white though. You're not going to see what it's doing, to be fair. We have the pink, well, baby pink here. Then we have the pink pink. They do seem to be moving quite well. The pearl pink. Put those for the Don't I will do. Zoom in a little bit. Uh, apricot. Sundarange. Marigold. Light orange. Tangerine, orange, tropical orange, orange red, and the salmon. red so all I've done on all of those is um, around half of the circle is with the water and the rest is without so you can see some slight differences especially when you start looking at the darker colors so let's carry on we have the mauve and the coral Strong red, the carmine, the dark magenta. There is colour coming off this because I've had a small amount of colour go into my water, though it's not a lot, I must admit. Dark gold, cherry, maroon, umber, sienna. Bronze, chocolate, c 
copper. There's some colours that I don't, like, to me, that copper isn't copper. I was thinking of copper as being more brown. It's got quite a reddish tinge to it. Like a pinky tinge, I guess. We've got fresh green and sea green. Slate green, olive green. Forest green, green, that one you can see very clearly, and dark green. So that is the second tray of colours with half water activated. The greens you can see really well. And then on to the final strip of colours. So we've got the sky blue and the light blue and the aqua blue. Got the royal blue, the blue. That one you can see clearly moves too. Prussian blue. Dark blue. Cerulean blue. Sapphire blue as well. Got the moss green. The greens seem to move really well. Khaki. Got the coffee. And then the brown. Mineral blue, indigo, violet, and the purple. Metallic gold. Metallic silver. Can't see much movement in the metallics. We have the light grey and the dim grey. Dark grey, grey, and last but not least, we have black. And there we go that is the final tray of colors now just on testing them and on first glances i quite like them we'll definitely have to give them a go on a stamped image or even one of the um color sheets that i have but i must say i do really like them i think there's a good range of colors there um yeah, I'm impressed. I think for fourteen ninety nine, including the tray, the the tin that they've come in, I'm happy with that. Um, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? Do you use or have you used watercolor pencils before? Is that a good buy? Is it not? Is it a good make? Is it not? Um, let me know. As I say, this is the first set of watercolor pencils I've ever bought, and I picked them up because they did have relatively good reviews. Um, my water has changed colour slightly, it's not quite as clear as it was before, but there's not a lot of colour in it either. Um, we'll see how we go, I may buy some normal pencil crayons as well to do some of these colouring sheets, 
but for now I'm going to give these watercolour pencils a go. Thank you so much for joining me today, please do hit that subscribe button and we do have a um, buy me a coffee link as well in the description box so if you'd like to support us please feel free to head on over there um coffees are two pounds and all of the money that we get it all goes into us being able to bring you new things um we definitely want to get some sort of uh glass cutting mat i think um or at least we definitely need something for this um but yes thank you so much for joining me here today i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful rest of your week bye for now